Mm -hmm. Not too long after that DVD. Wow. Real talk. Real talk. I'm blind. It's like I don't know why. Why you think? Why do you think that? Even if they got the knowledge, why do you think Death steal the facts is like that? In the because city? this is not who we are. This mm. is we're participating in this third dimensional shit right here. This mm -hmm. we, we're much deeper than this. And when it's time for us to ascend, it's not a death. Mm -hmm. It's really an awakening. You know what I mean? But so why do you think people like even me? Like even when you said that, it still start, struck a chord, like a sad chord in my heart. Like no you know doubt, what I mean? no doubt, no doubt. I get it. And even though I know about all that, I'm like, child, man. See, it's, but what that does for me is that makes me appreciate every single moment mm. that I have here. Yeah. Because you never know when it's over. Yeah. Every, it's a real good book I call The Power of Now by Eckhart Tolle. And he's talking about, you know, we focus so much on what happened or what's going to happen. Well, what are we doing about right, right now? now? Right this moment. You know what I mean? So right now I'm taking in this beautiful scenery. Oh. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. and, and really embracing this moment, because this may be the last. I might fall off the fucking split. Right. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? And we, we always talk about things that hindered us in the past. That's why we can't move forward. Or we waiting for 2012 or some other shit that may or may not happen. What about right this moment? Yeah. And that's where we lose it at. You know what I mean? The present sacred. Sacred. Because all I know is this no. moment. All that shit I, that happened before, who, who really knows? I wasn't there. That's what I be trying to tell, like, 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 that's what I be trying to tell, like, people when I'm, when I'm, when I'm, when I'm building with them, like, you, the only thing that is real is no. The only thing that is real is this, we we'll rate her, yes. talking, building this movie. Yes. Anything else? I'm, I'm, uh, it's open to interpretation. There open you to go. Like, you know what I mean? And a lot of us don't want to accept that, but it's the truth. It is the truth. That's the only truth, too. The only I truth. told people the only God and the only truth and all that there is her and all. And when you look up in the sky at night and you see them stars and mm -hmm. you see them, the moon and all that, that's, that's truth. what's real. That's real. You see what I'm saying? The rest of that is speculation. <laughs> exactly. As much as we like to think it ain't. Exactly. That's that's that and 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 and, and, and that's why I'm glad you're here because being that I'm from Bermuda, being that Schwedge from Bermuda, mm -hmm. and what we're her like, people won't necessarily take us as no, because you you from here exactly. Someone from someone outside gotta come. That's just the way it is. That's just how it is, right? And, and teach you the same shit that y'all been saying. Then they're gonna go, oh, I get it. And you're going, but I just told you the same it's shit. The same shit. You know how. It is. Like even my man's people, people think his evil. Mm. Scared of them. Got you. That's because they're afraid of the unknown. That's all it is. You know what I mean? They're afraid of the unknown. But once they begin to become, become accustomed to what it is, what it is there to be afraid of. And what know? blurs me the most is like, like how are you going to be scared of someone you know is so loving? Like, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How are you going to be scared of someone you know in all your life? Right. That's, right. That's, that's, that's helped mm -hmm. you in times of like when you, when you was gone and out. Right. You know what I mean? Now, I've had family members say that they don't understand, but they don't be afraid. They go, D, I don't understand where you're going because mm -hmm. I've always been a trailblazer. I want to find out. So right. I might walk a path that nobody else will walk, and I'll be the first one to say, dude, don't go down there. Mm -hmm. There's snakes down there. I just can't do it. I just came from <laughs> down there. There's snakes. Don't go down there. Or, dude, it's beautiful down there. Mm -hmm. It's lovely. Mm -hmm. So, Easy, baby. you know what I mean? I'm down there. Go down there and enjoy. So, you know, somebody's got a trailblaze or, 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 you know what I'm saying, find out what it is. But you, you can't be afraid to tell somebody when you're wrong. Mm. I drank my urine for, for six months, you know, to, to find out if urine therapy works. works. And I was able to return to the people and say, look, I'm still here. Mm -hmm. It made me go to the bathroom, which was a good sign because it was detoxing. Mm. It didn't make me sick. It didn't give me no fever. None of that. Mm. So, therefore, I'm able to give you good. Now, for you, it may be different. But I know I tried it. Wifey tried it. No more yeast infections or no mm. kind of... You see what I'm saying? So I do know maybe back in ancient time when, when we were more pure, then your urine might have had a more pure effect. Mm -hmm. It didn't give me supernatural powers, but it didn't kill me. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So re remove the myth that if you drink your urine, you're going to die. Mm -hmm. Because if you get stranded on the island... Guess what you're going to be doing? <laughs> you're going to be drinking that urine. No doubt. In the you middle of the ocean. In the middle of the ocean, because you know you can't touch that salt water. No. You're drinking that urine. Sure you know what I mean? Is. So, you know, so every time I study something, you know, I, I'm very analytical as being a Virgo. I try to find out, you know, if it's real. So you're real. a Virgo too? Yes. You know, Wise is a Virgo too. I know. I so know. Kate is a Virgo. Now you're a Virgo. 
you know? I, I feel like that Virgo Aries connection is one that's that's cosmic and runs yeah, deep. Yeah, man. Really so I'm, I'm 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 willing to try things, and but I'm also willing to come back and say, dude, nah, don't you know? Don't believe that. Mm -hmm. It ain't what it's cracked up to be, or at least based on my research. Mm -hmm. Can't get your ego involved with it. That's mm -hmm. what we lose it. Well, you wrong and strong. You wrong, nigga, you know you wrong. Right. But you still want to stand on that wrong shit. No, just say, dude, because my travels is about my travels. Mm -hmm. So I might learn something good and I might learn something bad. You just got to come back and report to the people what it is you learn. Exactly. That's it. Don't try to make a doctrine out of this shit and follow us on some so what shit do you, that you know is not right. How do you feel about Dr. York? And, and I, I believe situation. a lot of Dr. York's work was on point. Mm -hmm. I believe, but he was walking the line with followers and, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So some of the stuff, because he didn't write all those books. Oh, for real? No, he didn't write all those books. Okay. He, inter he had someone else interpret a lot of those books. Mm -hmm. However, a lot of the stuff he said was on point. So I what do you want me to so. tell you? I believe so, too. It was. You know what I mean? So... You know what I mean? But was he a supernatural being? I'm not going to go that far. Right, exactly. But was he a powerful individual? Yes. I have read, like, how I know Dr. York stuff, true. I've been out there with KB for there a couple months, man. Uh, you know, KB has got the library. Mm -hmm. You know, I have, I have picked up the early tablets. I have picked up many of, like, books. And I'm not an avid, like, read a whole book. But I'll sit there and, you know, yeah, through and, certain, right, certain and, aspects. and whatever jumps out at me, I'll That's how the it. spirit works. You don't have to read whole books no more. Exactly. You don't have to. You go through the spirit exactly. until you to get what? Well, boom, boom, done. Put it I'm on the shelf. I'm glad you said that because I used that's, to read me. books all the time, like literally, and then I didn't have to do it no more. No. Don't have to. So I was reading this, I was reading this stuff, and I was reading it, it was so interesting, like, and I'm reading, I'm reading it, and I'm like, man, this feels right, man. You know what I mean? Because it was ancient prehistory mm -hmm. before it was even history was a word. Yes. So, and then one day I was watching Discovery Channel or something like that. And they was talking about how the Earth was formed and all that. And it was the exact, exact same, same shit. Ah, uh, nah, boom. So what? So you have to accept that some exactly. of the shit he said. Exactly. Listen, Master Farad Muhammad was telling us about how far the distance of the planets was in 1930. He told Elijah Muhammad that. And today it is factual. Factual. How the hell did he know that in 1930? That the Earth was 93 million miles away from the sun. How the hell did he know that? For the real. square mileage of the Earth and all that old shit, For which real. was accurate. For real. You know what I mean? I do. So don't tell me that there isn't higher entities or you know information comes to us for those who you know. No doubt. But don't make me a follower. And that's what I that's what I don't do. I don't follow no man. You're not I'm supposed to. Real shit. Take it because at the end of the day, I'm a man. I used to say on my DVDs, I might be in a booty club smacking some ass a little later. <laughs> real talk. Don't mean the information I'm not bringing to you is not real. No but bullshit. don't don't get caught up in following man. Real shit, though. Man is here for his trials and tribulations. Exactly. And there's going to be some good. There's going to be some that ain't so good. If our people can accept that. Then they be good, cause then they just be in it for the information. Exactly, and they'll be, and they will recognize that they gotta save themselves. A lot of people want want someone to save them, right? And they're still waiting for Jesus to come out the clouds, right? And then, and and, and like I made a tweet the other day, but I'm like, yo, man, people's getting um, fiend for this type of information when no Jesus comes out the clouds. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. They're gonna fiend. They wanna know now. They wanna know more. Like you right. know what I mean? And at right. the end of the day, like. People scared like they feel like they might be dissing Jesus because they're on the knowledge like, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. That's, you're not dissing Jesus, you're not dissing your faith like, you just want to know more. Just want to know more. You know what I what mean? What was happening before Jesus? That's the it. millions and millions of years before Jesus. Yeah. I just want to know. Oh, right. You know, point and I just want to, I like, I just want to know me. about the virgin birth which takes place in every other culture. Mm -hmm. How, you know, how true this is. That's it. That's it. That's it. But fear, people don't want to People get in their comfort zone, and it's, it's, it's easy to just stay in your comfort zone because knowledge makes you uncomfortable mm -hmm. because it challenges you. And you, and you have to be accountable and for And you it. have to be accountable. No bullshit. No and bullshit. At the end of the day, you have to be accountable for it. Mm -hmm. So do I want to know in this sandwich I'm eating what's really in it? No, I really don't want to <laughs> fucking know. I want to enjoy my sandwich.